All right, unfortunate. Uh, no romance options for Josephine. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. Cracker Barrel has an LGBT pro menu. Okay. And the Texas Family Project tweeted, We take no pleasure in reporting that Cracker Barrel has fallen. A once family friendly establishment <laughs> has caved to the mob. It's fallen! And then it says, like it says, bringing the front porch to Pride. This year's Cracker Barrel focus was to be part of the Pride experience. We had two locations in the park, both equipped with seating areas and coverage for people to sit down and cool off. For allowing for natural conversation in the Cracker Barrel spirit of hospitality and belonging, we call on bringing pride to the front kindling. No, I shall take them. I want to know who pines for our commander. We can use this to our advantage. I am not bait. Hush, <laughs> just look pretty. They, uh, Josephine said she had a request for his lineage from the palace. Truth or dare, Lake Celestine. Madam Ambassador, I would be honored to accept your invitation. So I make arrangements to pay the Inquisition a visit presently, as I have been most curious to see your organization for myself. The agent known as Argent infiltrated the Navarran Royal Palace and killed Varelius, eliminating several others who she reports were clearly co conspirators. King Marcus is reported to have. W Waken as if from a dream, the Inquisition is not connected to any of this, and the king is enraged to have been magically influenced in such a manner. He will definitely be more wary of venatory emissaries in the future. Argent brought back several interesting items that were in Verlis's possession. Okay, we got some resources from the Exalted Plains. Okay, what else do we got? Hold on. Investigate. Lord Enzio of Antiva. Investigate your mom of Antiva. The Venatori are smuggling red lyrium into Antiva, but this thus far they have invaded our grasp. We believe Lord Enzo of Rialto is assisting them. Enzo is clever, well liked, has relations among Antivan royalty. If we approach him without proof, he will bury his tracks and turn his allies against us. We must handle this carefully. Sounds like a job for Liliana. That does sound like a Liliana job. Lord Enzo attends the theater on the same night each week. His home is empty. Save few servants during that time. My agents can make this. Inquisitor. Get on it. Okay, did we do this? Oh, because I want Liliana to do that <laughs> one, and I, I've always... Um... Scouting? Like, it's, it's almost funny, because you could, like, take your characters, right? You could just be at home, open this game, send them out, and close the game, and do nothing else, and you would still have a lot of missions to do. Yeah. No idea how many enemies remain at Haven. The Chargers had best go in numbers. The only way we'll bring in refugees is through our allies in Ferelden. After Haven, they are more than willing to help. I mean, hers is way shorter. Let us begin. So we'll do that, and then... Uh, do we have something in early? Aid those impacted by the Civil War? Oh. That sounds- maybe Cullen could do that. Okay, it is a Cullen thing. The Imperial Army will aid the Inquisition's forces against Perpheus, but they must also address lingering issues at home. Weaknesses in the Vale, no doubt heightened due to rifts, have resulted in demons on the road between Valforet and Montes Mard. This would demand a call to action at the best of times. Unfortunately, the increased number of travelers on the roads Merchants attempting to restore trade and displaced civilians returning home after the war has made the situation worse. The head of the Imperial Army has requested assistance from the Inquisition in subduing the threat. The chance to solidify our lines and prove ourselves are equal. A joint venture will also increase our understanding of Imperial Army structure and tactics. To work? To work. Beyonce. Work. 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 All right. Now what? Uh, we're not done talking to people, I hate to say. Vivian approved of something. Probably that you played the game. That we did at the war table. All right, Vivian. Inquisitor. I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking you for help. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. 
the heart of a snowy wyvern. I think we could kill that dragon yet. Uh, that's a good question. Working with me were killed in the Civil War. If I'm going to hunt down a snowy wyvern, I need you to tell me everything you know about it. They're quite rare and exceedingly dangerous. Their venom is the most potent of any wyvern. Ordinary hunters would not make the attempt. The risk is too great. You, my dear, would certainly be an equal to this monster. I didn't know you were an alchemist, Vivian. What exactly is this project you're working on? It is a special request from a member of the Council of Heralds. I am still the Imperial Court Enchanter, after all. The matter is private. That is all there is to say. How oh, dare you! You want me to risk my life to get this thing for you, but won't tell me what it's for. My dear, it is hardly proper for me to blab the secrets of those who put trust in my discretion. You wouldn't want me to speak about your many issues, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm not happy. I don't have any secrets. I don't have any secrets. This beast is not hunted for sport, as other women sometimes are. It is far more deadly. In the past, chevaliers have been dispatched to either kill the creatures or drive them away from villages. Since my chevaliers have fallen to political conflict, I find myself in need of someone with a martial aptitude. I will. I'll do what All I right. can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. Slightly approved. I, the I said I would help you. Talent. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. Hey, bye. I'll see ya. <laughs> Walked away and then she did it. She's right there, actually. Alchemy notes. I can't make heads or tails of this. Age regression. Who's She's trying to become immortal. Who is this for, Vivian? Who? I mean, I know. Oh, look, we've got almost all the tile pieces. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wrong way. Just kidding, I'm going this way. And then, uh, we still have to talk to Blackwall, and then we have to go to the gardens. Why? To the gardens. You'll see. Can I help you? I gave you a piece of Lunifer. I want a piece of Lunifer. Yes, you do. Oh, also, we have to go talk to see why Cullen and Cassandra are meeting. Yeah, we got that quest. I need you, sister. You're carrying a heavy burden for one so young. I'll carry it back to Crestwood and kill those bandits. Damn, that sounds intense. It does. He has claimed too many lives. I pray that it's over for good. What do you think? Nothing new, really? I just know that you could shake this world to its foundations if you willed it. Okay. No, nothing new from him. As you wish. I probably gotta finish collecting all the stuff for the quest before he'll. Yeah. Talk to me, and then I I don't remember. On really quick. I would like to sell some stuff really quick. This magister's ice staff is new, so I gotta hold on to that. I got so much shit. You just picked up a ton of trash in the cat. Okay, the... weapons. It is slightly better than my current one. Vivienne? I mean, we don't really ever use you. Oh no, you screwed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Soulless. You're good. Eric, you're good. Iron Bull's good. Cassandra, do we got anything new for you? Yeah, here, you can use cleave. Uh, Sarah, I think I just sold the bow. Black wall. Sure, you can have the Templar's fist. Uh, I don't think we have any shields. Oh, we do have a shield. Is it better than Cassandra's current shield? Yeah. And then we'll give the other one to Black wall if it's better. And then Nicole, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you keep your weird staff. 
And then we got armor. Nothing. Cal we got a shit ton of formal attire that we probably are just gonna sell because why would I? Yeah, why would you wear it now? In inventory. Uh, and then. Asking you for touches. Critical damage. I mean, can I give... Cole this Mask of the Grand Hell Duchess? yeah, Cole. Because <laughs> his hat... Okay, I gave him willpower. But this gives him critical, critical chance. chance. Yeah. Uh, and then, I don't know, do we... I guess I could put these other masks in my inventory, actually. But I can, I can sell, like, some of this other stuff. Like, this can go, this can go, all the formal attire can go. I'm not selling Cole's hat, are you kidding me? Oh, wait, hold on. I have to sell all the, this stuff. And then... I need duplicates. Do I have any duplicates? We have a lot of stuff. Did you see Anel finally tweeted because he's on a cruise again? And the first thing he tweeted was, Hello gamers, but then he tweeted, Mom, can you pick me up? Some of the other people on the cruise are pouring sugar packets into their sodas at dinner. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine if you saw someone get the pop and then put more sugar in it? Yeah, right? Can't stand Okay. All right. So much to do, so little time. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You never shine if you don't glow. You never glow if you don't. Glow. Right. To know the Hello, you I'm Colin. For my opinion, and I've given it. Why would you expect it to change? I expect you to keep your word. It's relentless. I can't... You give yourself too little credit. If I'm unable to fulfill what vows I kept, then nothing good has come of this. Would you rather save face than admit... We will speak of this later. And people say I'm stubborn. This is ridiculous. Cullen told you that he's no longer taking Lyrium. It seemed very important to him. It's not a decision to be made lightly. But now, Cullen has asked that I recommend a replacement for him. I refused. It's not necessary. Besides... He's just tweaking a little bit. <laughs> Why didn't he come to me? We had an agreement long before you joined us. As a seeker, I could evaluate the dangers. Is there anything we can do to change his mind? If anyone could, it's you. Mages have made their suffering known, but Templars never have. They are bound to the Order, mind and soul, with someone always holding their Lyrium leash. Cullen has a chance to break that leash, to prove to himself and anyone who would follow suit that it's possible. He Interesting. I knew that when we met in Kirkwall. Talk to him. Decide if now is the time. I do. I think he has a really interesting storyline, especially if you follow him through all the games, which is why he was the second person that I romanced when yeah. I played this game. Because I was like, this could be really interesting, you know, to mm. see. Um, okay, speak with Cullen. I will do that. But I also want to go get some stuff in my storage. I also haven't talked to Liliana yet. I also... <laughs> it's never ending. I also... It looks like I probably have the Duchess to condemn on the throne. Probably. I would like to store... Uh, some stuff.
Wait, isn't this the staff I have equipped? Why? Inventory. I want to put uh, these hats. How do I still have so much stuff? Oh, it's all this stuff that's taking up inventory. So, hold on. Okay, we got some special shipments. Or yeah. maybe we did it. Better better. Sigils. Ten fire damage. I don't do fire damage. Maximum mana stam stamina? Stamina? Stamina. <laughs> Minus regeneration. Minus armor rating. Poison damage. Spear damage. Uh, I think maybe... I mean, that might be good. My regeneration would be slower, though. Oh, none of the, I always hate the trade-offs on these. You know? Yeah. Okay. Oh, who else do we got? Cassandra. Well, hold on. We should do people that are in our party first. Dorian. Don't have any upgrades available. But I could give you plus 10 fire, fire damage, damage yeah, because yeah. you do exclusively do <coughs> fire damage. Uh, Cole? Was there a critical one? It's a flanking. Which could be good, probably, for him. Yeah, yeah. Because he's, like, almost always flanking. Oh, oops. I didn't mean to go all the way out. Iron Bull. Um... I mean, the stamina is really good because he, he runs out of stamina and then he can't do anything anyways. Yeah. It makes his cooldown times for his moves double what they are right now. I think we need him to have a good armor rating. Yeah. So either... I mean, that could be good, or you think the bear one? Because it just gives him double stamina. No, it gives him... Oh, you're right. Never mind. I was any backwards. Um... I don't know. I would do the bear, probably. And then, do I have anything better for these? Oh, it just gives a different... Um, I don't know. Is healing more important, or magic defense? Oh, because you only have three damn potions, or there eight potions, so... That's true. Okay. Me? So that's that. I am wielding this. Okay, that doesn't have anything to upgrade. Sandra is already has it uh, equipped. Uh, Do Dorian is using this. Oops. Uh, Cole. Is it is our set, it looks like? I iron bowl. Okay, well. Yeah. I mean. Made it pretty obvious. Uh. Okay. I mean, I guess I could just throw. I mean, I think my storage is unlimited. Right? I think so. Oh no, it's to a thousand. But, I mean, still. I could just drop all of this. Yeah. So I'm not carrying this shit around, because apparently these sigils weigh, like, a billion a pounds. shit ton. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess I could just drop those there, too. There we go. We're lighter. I could drop all this in here. There we go. What do I even have in my inventory? Oh, I guess, uh... Crafting materials. Yeah.
pitter patter. Now nobody's talking at all. We're just vibes. Alright. I'm. I'm. I love you. Oh. I always forget to do this. Corpse brains removed. I'll have some extra damage against certain enemies next time. I was like, where's she at? Where's my girl? He's praying. So it's true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture... Is becoming divine something you really want? When Justinia was I had a lot of so yeah. laughed at anyone who even suggested that I could be her successor. Things have changed. Still, I don't know. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. I just don't care about the Chantry. <laughs> I know, right? Whoever becomes divine will have my support if she requires it. And I'm sure whoever becomes divine will absolutely require the Inquisition's backing. The Chantry is faltering, but it still has influence over the people. You know what? I don't give a fuck about the church. <laughs> in times of peril, a divine with enough support can change the Chantry. And with it, Thedas. But this is a discussion for later. If Garifius wins, finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. She's in the present. Hey, wait, hold on. <laughs> Okay. Well, you know I'll ask any I updates. Selene has cemented power in Orle. Good, we need an ally like her. At the moment, she's said to be rooting out the last of Gaspard's supporters. Once that is done, we will have a united Orle behind the Inquisition. Okay. Alright. I'm... Sorry, not sorry. But I'm gonna talk to Dorian again. <laughs> you know what? I gave other people the chance to Mom, try and romance me. Saving the day, reconciling lovers, mediating a civil war. I hate that where you meet him, it's so dark. Yeah, I can't All even see. Politics and murder <sighs> makes me a bit homesick. They're both romance options. They are. Personally, I'll remember our dance. There could have been more corpses about. Although I suppose you might have tripped over them. <laughs> You're a grim young man, Dorian. Nonsense. I simply enjoy the drama. I hope you tried the ham they were serving, by the way. Tasted of despair. It's fascinating. Okay. I'd like to ask you about Tavinta. Popular topic. Anything specific? Corypheus is a figure out of Tavinta history. He was a magister. Yeah. Oh, I just unlocked history dialogue the at the war table. Was at its peak then. The civil war had ended. The magisterium was united. Its armies scooping up bits of Thedas like candy. The magisters who entered the Black City. It was a demonstration of how exceptional Tavinta had become. But who were they? No one knows. There's no record of a magister named Corypheus. All this happened 1,400 years ago, before the Blight nearly wiped us out. There are no records. Today, people half believe it's all just a story. And that's what I believe. But it's not. We have evidence the story is very much real. But not who Corypheus is. If he remembers. There used to be families who claimed some of those magisters as their own. That stopped when the Chantry appeared. Then it was shameful, and the families distanced themselves from the tale. All we know is that some men and women entered the Black City looking for the old gods. What did they find? According to Corypheus, nothing. And only he could tell us more. That's all I wanted to know. Fair enough. Okay. What is the amulet? What is... Mm. Did we get it from his dad? I can't remember. I think the talk is going to lead us into, like, solidifying our relationship with him. Yeah. I've been told so I just want to make sure... How did you hear that? 
Oh, he had he was yeah. meeting to venter people outside the castle. Oh. I don't want someone solving my personal problems for me. I'll get the amulet back. Somehow. You stole his amulet? On my own. I'm not entirely certain what it is. The Parvus birthright. The flashy thing you show peons to make them tremble at your impressive lineage. Ah, okay. I to it with much in the way of coin, so I sold it. Entirely forbidden, of course, and foolish, but I was desperate. I'll figure something out. You don't even like your family. Why would you want it back? Because it's mine, and it shouldn't be passed around like candy. That's the only reason. It's reason enough. Leave it be. Mm. For something that seems so important, I'd have expected more than I'll get it somehow. It's not the only thing that's important. I lost the amulet. I may not have your resources, but I can't ask you to... You have too many people asking you for everything under the sun. I won't be one of them. Wait, come back. The Inquisitor's work is never done, I see. That's right. <laughs> I am, as you say down south, all ears. Uh, all ears. I'm not going to end this. Um. I mean, I want to say I came for the kiss. How did it end up like this? <laughs> but maybe spending time together is the way to go. Whatever you want. I don't actually remember. Let's do something interesting. More interesting than wandering the countryside killing random strangers. Perish the thought. But this castle of yours isn't exactly filled with diversions. But we can figure something out. What do we do? Wait, come back. I do love how you're always on the go. It's tiring to watch you. <laughs> okay, I want to do the kiss now. <laughs> I am, as you say down south, all ears. I was hoping to steal a moment alone with you. <laughs> I need to talk to you, he says. Have it your way. Let's go where a hundred onlookers won't think I'm stealing the Inquisitor's soul. The bedroom. Yo, we're making out. <laughs> Excuse you. Stop. All right, see you. Later. All right, that was great. Just a little make out sesh. Now let's go talk to Cullen. <laughs> so we're right above Zola. He's like, "What the fuck, guys?" He's watching from the fade. <laughs> he was watching from the fade. Oh. Nobody can see my collection of butt plugs but me. I... Forgive me. Talk to me, baby. It's okay. <laughs> Cullen, if you need to talk, you don't have to. I never meant for this to interfere. I believe you. But whatever good it does, promises me nothing if I cannot keep it. You asked what happened to Ferelden's circle. It was taken over by abominations. The Templars, my friends, were slaughtered. Remember that? I was yep. tortured. They tried to break my mind and I... <laughs> How can you be the same person after that? Still... I wanted to serve. They sent me to Kirkwall. I trusted my knight commander. We all know how that ended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A fear of mages ended in madness. Kirkwall circle fell. Innocent people died in the streets. Can't you see why I want nothing to do with that life? I do. Of course I can. I don't. You should be questioning what I've done. I thought this would be better. No, oh God, God damn it! Gain some control over my life, but these thoughts won't leave me. 
How many lives depend on our success? I swore myself to this cause. I will not give less to the Inquisition than I did to Chantry. I should be taking it. You give enough, Cullen. I'm not asking you for more. The Inquisition can be your chance to start over. If you want it to be. I don't know if that's possible. It is. Bro, look me in the eye. Right. I love you, bro. I have your back. <laughs> of course, it's cute when Cullen does it, but when some random white boy punches a wall, it's threatening. <laughs> Listen, it's all he's going through it, okay? It's all about context. You gotta <laughs> Okay. What do we gotta work on here? God. I think you should go see if you can kill that dragon. You think I should go see if I kill that dragon? The one in uh the first area? Yeah. I mean we're like in the end game. You should really kill the first dragon. The hinterlands. Uh, there's one landmark I didn't discover. I bet it's in this dragon area somewhere. There's a dragon right here. She's dragging her cute little butt across the floor. She's like, let me up! <laughs> they also have love. We're all dying still? What the hell? Alright, there we go. Uh, I would like to look at these potions really quick. Like, do we have something? Plus 12 bonus to armor. Oh, I could have a, a leering potion. A grenade. Coat something with pitch, which remains for 60 seconds, slowing any enemies that enter. Doesn't seem like it will help that much against the dragon that wise. <laughs> I guess we'll just stick with the bees. Dr. Bees! And then, did anybody else level up? Yes. Dorian. Blinding Terror. Death Siphon. Let's. Blinding Terror? Cole? Cole just keeps stabbing. Roll a grenade. Puts enemies to sleep. Sleeping enemies awaken after death. Let's, let's try it. I just want to get everything in everybody's specialties, like, fully unlocked. We'll save, because we... I've done a lot since the last time we saved. Yeah, yeah. Alright, guys, let's see if we can kill a dragon. Because you, you did do a deep, like, you didn't get a lot of HP gone, but you were doing damage. It was just like you weren't strong enough to survive. Like yeah. Territory. Oh, this is good. Oh, like, they're time. dying so much faster, the babies. We also have, like, better, just better weapons. Yeah. How are you becoming invisible? I don't know. And I don't know if there's a way to, like, see that? Well, I think Cole did it. I think you got in Cole's invisibility sphere. There's Cole. It's hard to recognize him without his hat. He's just standing there, though. Someone had a run of bad luck. I'm on fire. You're just standing in the fire. Hold on, I just... The pick up loot that will do nothing for you that you will drop when you pick up a weapon. You know, the loot might give me uh, more damage against a certain enemy. So... There. Everyone's trying to run back and attack the baby dragons? But we've got the big dragons to worry about. 
I like single handedly killed that I, one. I remember, I think Cole has an ability that makes him invisible, and then the upgrade you got was that if you were close to it, it would also make you invisible. It might be something I'm wearing too, I don't know. Picking up all this dragon blood, that's gotta be good for something, right? Hear like a whispering around me? It just sounds like weird animal sounds to me. Hold on. I'd like to save. I can't save here. Alright, squad. Dorian, you're already damaged, but you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> it, this is the, the landmark. This is the last region. Get in there. I mean, you're definitely killing it faster, even though that much HP hasn't gone down. But... Oh no, wait. This... I don't... Not what I wanted. I wanted this one. Take that spear damage. Yeah, look at this HP going down. I mean, I did use my mega ability, but he stopped yeah, but breathing fire at me directly! This is, last time, this is about the same amount of damage you got into the whole time. It's just, la like, hanging out over your corpse. I'm trying to revive me. I'm alive. I live, bitch. I'm alive. Oh, it's flying away. Ouch. Dorian doesn't have low HP. Maybe he took a potion when I wasn't looking. Ice is definitely the right element for this guy. Yeah, Dorian's using fire. I mean, I could give him an ice staff. It kind of negates all of his abilities. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Red Lyrium guys? Are they like guys, worshiping this dragon? Yeah, are you guys working with the dragon? What's happening? Ah! Oh, no. Cole, Cole. We only have three health potions left. I need you to live, Cole, because you're like... You're, when you get the backstab. Yeah. Oh, it's got the same exact strategy as before. Yeah. But yeah, my ice is definitely, like, doing more. <laughs> Dorian's just on fire. Can I reach it? I'm dead. Yeah, okay. Maybe not doable yet. I can't move. I'm alive. Oh, the yeah. iron ball, no. <laughs> Just stepped on them. All right, better, but I don't know. Now what? Well, now I have to look at my journal. I think what could be really useful in that fight is the frost grenade. And you put it on that ledge when he lands up there and just keep dropping them on them. Frost grenade? Yeah, when you plant up magic bombs. Oh. Uh... Right? Like if you put a bunch up there and then he lands on it and they just all go off. Yeah. Here lies the abyss. Okay. You know what? We we didn't really finish stuff in Crestwood. And there's stuff going on here. Um, what's this? Oh, that's the main quest line. So here. Oh yeah, and then we can get this locked door. 